What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And what you are looking at is Great Ape Vegeta fighting against Goku, or rather, us playing as Goku fighting against Great Ape Vegeta. We also played as Piccolo fighting against Great Ape Gohan. Now, DM Gaming, what does this have to do with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Well, aside from the fact that it's from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, guys. With the new DLC coming, it has yet to be announced, but it is confirmed with Bardock being the DLC. Guys, I want you to notice something. What do you notice looking at this? You notice that the great apes aren't flying. They're fighting on the ground. Yet in Kakarot, we can't fight on the ground. You know, every DLC has brought something new that is unique to each particular DLC. And really, with the history of Trunks, they hit a stride. Like, they did a phenomenal job with it. The only thing that sucks about that, as well as the game itself, is there's no true end game in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Hopefully, they change that going forward. But right now, the game suffers dr drastically because there's nothing to do after you beat the story. Anyway, I digress, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on our bell, icon notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Guys, these this is this is monumental. Because I, I don't know why. I feel like I don't know how you can do a Bardock DLC and not allow us to play as Great Ape Bardock. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting on my speculation cap again. OK, and I'm, I'm speculating that they're going to make it to where we are going to be able to transform into Great Ape Bardock. And in doing so, they'll have to implement the Great Ape into the game now we know that they're able to do this because we're watching it right now now as a grade eight people might think oh you're gonna be op because you you you're so powerful and things like that but guys look at this fight with goku and vegeta he's extremely slow they don't fly they don't dash so there is some drawback to it yeah you're more powerful but if they use the same mechanics as here you you're not as fast you know if your attacks hit yeah they're extremely powerful but you know like i said you're not as fast you can't fly yada 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 i don't see them giving us super saiyan as the only transformation for bardock now the bardock special was short in my opinion i honestly think it was shorter than the history of trunks yet and still the history of trunks was about five to six hours worth of gameplay there has to be something to feel that in the Bardock special. I don't think it's going to be a boss battle episode against Frieza because Bardock dies against Frieza. It makes more sense that after Frieza, we go into Lord Chilled, where at that point, yeah, you get the Super Saiyan transformation. But like History of Trunks, you got two transformations, you know. And with the Power Awakens, you actually, in a sense, when you combine the two, you got two transformations. I don't think it's too far out of the realm of possibility for us to get Great Ape Bardock transformation and be able to play as him. Now, what's also interesting is they could introduce some sort of mini game. I don't know. Maybe you're Great Ape Bardock and you have to uh, conquer so many planets or, or de defeat so many enemies in a period of time or something to that effect. I'm also wondering, are they going to add the other uh, members of his team as support characters. That's a video that I'm going to be doing at a later point in time. I think that as, as well as they did with the history of Trunks, I'm really thinking that that because history of Trunks feels like its own separate game in a sense. It's extremely, you know, and I think Bardock is going to be the same way. We're going to get a lot of backstory and there's not a lot from the movie that 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 feels that void, guys. So I'm telling you ahead of time, don't be surprised if they take some stuff from Dragon Ball Super manga. Now, I know what you're going to say, DM, that's Dragon Ball Super, right? Here is the the loophole to all of that. The same thing happened with Vegeta going Super Saiyan God in a sense. Kind of there was a loophole. The loophole is this or or the history of Trunks actually guys with him fighting Debora. This is the loophole why they were able to put that in and still call it Z because it was a flashback. When Trunks told Goku about that in the anime and the manga, it was a flashback meaning that it happened prior to the events of Dragon Ball Super. Even though it was told in Dragon Ball Super, the actual events occurred before that. Same way with Bardock. 
Bardock isn't a Dragon Ball Z character. He's not a Dragon Ball Super character. In essence, Bardock is a Dragon Ball character. He was alive before Z. Yet, his story is told in Z, and it's even being told more in Super, but it's being told as a flashback, meaning the events occurred before the events of Dragon Ball Super. You hearing about them now doesn't mean that they're occurring at this point in time. They've already occurred. It's a flashback. And that's how they may be able to incorporate a lot of the stuff from the Dragon Ball Super manga into the Bardock special. And that's going to make a lot of people mad. It's going to it's gonna upset a lot of people. I'm just going to back up here and roll that footage again, guys, while I go on this little, little talk about this stuff. Because if we do get the Great Ape transformation, the question is going to be raised. Well, you know, can we have it in the main game? Okay. First and foremost, at the current point that we're at in the main game, grade A transformation is impossible because nobody has a tail. However, it would be interesting if they did kind of like what they did with fusions and added it in through the, you know, the replaying of a certain mission. Or maybe Boma creates a, a tail or something to that effect. Being honest, straight up, guys, I don't see that happening because... Like I said, the, the fusions make sense because they can still use the fusions. But in the same breath, the only fusion that actually logically makes sense is the fusion with Gotenks. The reason why is because in order for the Patara fusion to work, even though it only lasts an hour, they got to have Patara earrings. It would have been so cool if they made it to where we were able to find those earrings as items, but they didn't go that route. So... With them doing that, you know, I don't know. Do they make grade eight possible in the main game? I highly doubt it just because the main game takes place in a time where nobody is using the grade eight transformation. So I think that if they do do the grade eight transformation, it's going to be exclusive to the Bardock DLC. Now, another big question is. Is this going to translate to the main game? I feel like there has to be something in this DLC that translates to the main game. Even though Bardock may not be playable in the main game. You see what I'm saying? He's not a character like Trunks was where his attacks could carry over. He wasn't like Goku and Vegeta where their stuff from the DLCs carried over into the main game. Bardock is not anywhere in the main game to be found so i don't see anything that could carry over into the main game therefore and i'm gonna have to do a separate video on this on some things that i think that they could implement in the dlc that would also carry over into the main game but if you would like to see bardock if you would like to be able to play as grade 8 bardock in the dlc let that be one of his transformations because he never lost his tail remember that let me know down in the comment section down below guys that's all i got for right now till next time thanks for watching peace